<laughs> Most relieved greetings, Stone Cold. God, I was afraid you were Mr. Corinthos, sir, and he'd do the, uh, uh thing. Why, why, are you, why are you sitting at Sonny's desk? Well, I, I need, um, total privacy for this most crucial cyber maneuver. What are you talking about? The, uh, the proof? The, the paternity test that proved that, you know, you and not Lucky Spencer are the father of Elizabeth Weber's baby? You, you, you said you wanted it to vanish, you, you right? You didn't delete the test when I told you to delete but, the test? No, we were, you know, we were still debating it. You know, when, when, when Sam interrupted and I, I wanted to wait. Just in case you might have changed your mind? <sighs> Delete it. Yeah, I mean, the records are just, you know, kind of a, a technicality anyway. I mean, if you if you did want to come forward, I'm sure Elizabeth would just admit that the baby Delete is Delete the yours. test, Spinelli. The Jackal guarantees that all traces to your impending fatherhood have been obliterated. Okay, that's good. That's good. Hey, I... you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, hey, look, um. You know, I'm, I'm still on the hospital mainframe. If, if you know, if, if, if we could maybe pull down some of Elizabeth's checkups or maybe even find some ultrasound footage of the baby, you could see a picture of a little stone cold. No, no. Are you sure? You know, because sometimes, you know, you can actually see on the ultrasound footage if it's, if it's a boy or a girl, you know? <laughs> wow, what would you even call it if it was a girl, you know? I mean, not little stone cold, obviously, but I mean, maybe, um... Uh, you know, the, the awesome one, or, or the miraculous one, or, or, uh, Lulu? Lulu? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful name, don't you think? I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to name my baby, so I don't even know really why we're even talking about this, Spinelli. You, you could. I know that you're trying to help me, but you can't. Okay, I chose to be with Elizabeth and we made a child. And now she asked me to give up that child and I agreed and I'm not sure how that's gonna work, how I'm gonna live with that. Of course I wanna see a picture, I wanna know if my baby's gonna be a boy or a girl, but the more I feel connected to the baby, the harder it is for me to stay away from the baby. Okay, so just leave it alone for now, please. so upset when, um, when Lucky and I would fight and I just don't want him to see me cry because I don't want him to think that something's wrong again. But... Well, is something wrong? I guess I could blame it on my hormones. But just seeing you with him, I mean, you're such a natural father and you have every right to know this child and to, to think what you're giving up. I, I... This is what you wanted, right? going to change your mind. Lucky and I just 
just got remarried. We're Wait. happy. Babies pick up on all kinds of emotions. They can't make sense of feelings. I don't want my child going up with a mother who's sad all the time. If you, if you can't handle this, let's just tell, let's just tell the truth. I'm sorry, but sometimes people cry. It doesn't mean everything's falling apart, okay? I'm sure I made the right choice. And I am so grateful that you're allowing Lucky to be this baby's father. I'm just trying to figure out the right thing to do. And I promised that I would give our child a loving and happy home. And that's what I'm going to do.